Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, or whatever time of day it is when you watch this. It's Sunday, April the 25th, and it's 845. We have another thing to be thankful for here in the United States and any country that is not going through this. And if yours is, we pray for you. I do know one of my subscribers is from India. I'm pretty sure is India. Anyway, the title of this is India's Hospitals on Verge of COVID Collapse and National Oxygen Shortage. This appears to be very much third world country. Uh, there is a man dr dressed, looks like a cop, light blue shirt, dark pants, a tie, a blue tie, wearing a mask, and he's pointing. So he's probably a cop. Uh, <clears throat> apparently they don't have enough oxygen there. That's not good. This is Channel 4 News. Um, I don't know where that is. It says, hospitals across India have warned that patients are dying because there isn't enough oxygen as the number of COVID infections and deaths rose by record levels yet again. And then there's um, a link to subscribe, but you could just click on the red box if you wanted. So anyway, I'll let, let you listen to just a little bit. This one in New Delhi has run out of oxygen as new COVID patients run out of breath. Yes, it's only oxygen because my husband died for my husband. My husband died just for the lack of oxygen. They've killed him. They told me his heart has failed. How can over 20 people die like that at the same time? They didn't even tell us what had happened. I came here to get my grandfather treated for COVID. They're not letting us in. We don't get it. We were told there is no doctor. If there is no doctor, then where will we go? His oxygen level is dropping alarmingly. They have no shame at all. Do you know how a human being dies without oxygen? Have you seen a fish out of water? More than 20 patients have died here suffering just like that. Just okay, well, I think you get the point. I didn't listen to the rest of it. I just wanted to share it to say, uh, after the video I watched the other day, or I think I shared it on BitChute, there weren't any. The, the nurses were dancing in the halls again while they're declaring, oh, the cases are rising again. And they were doing the same thing like last year, putting together dances in the hall. Uh, we don't have it here, at least not there. There were a few hospitals involved. And... People are saying, where's the cases? Where's the cases? How come they're all over there? I want to know, do they really have COVID? Anyway, let us be thankful that we really don't have that many. I know people have had it. Whatever they've had, they've called it COVID, whatever it was mighty funny nobody kind of got the flu this year I was just kind of thinking the other day like what happened to all the flu cases I suppose the nurses and doctors could tell you they had some what do you think I'm just thankful our hospitals are not overrunning with COVID patients for the second round at least not yet yet I think the other video I wanted to share is going to end up on BitChute okay I'm going to end this here now and say praise be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ 
that we get to live in a country that has enough oxygen. And I hope you do too. This is shameful. This is shameful that there's so much money in the world in the developed countries that they can't pull together and build these places, hospitals, or help them help themselves. Teach them the skills needed to be carpenters, mason, masonry people, you know, bricklayers, and doctors, and nurses, and nursing assistants, whatever their level of skill is. Teach them how to take care of their self. And, and fund them some grants so they can have the money to do it. They, it can be done. There's so many doctors from India over here. Why are they all over here? They learn and stay. Because they don't have big hospitals over there to go back to. And that's really a shame. And that's all I have to say about that. God bless each and every one of you. I pray you're well this day. And I pray that we all be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Won't it be wonderful? All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.